My name is Stephanie Gibbs. I operate a hand bookbinding studio in Hollywood, California, and I produce artists' books as well as doing limited editions and fine restorations for collections and individuals. I'm going to be working with the Printing Museum to show you three different bookbinding projects that use simple tools that you have available. I'm using the Christmas cards that I've made over the past several years as models for the structures that we're going to be going through in these videos. The first is a simple cut and fold book made out of one sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper where you don't need any thread or glue to turn one sheet of paper into a book. You can just print on it or draw on it, fold it, cut it, and there you have it. Then we're going to be doing one that involves sewing and you'll just use standard eight and a half by 11 paper. And for the first one, we're going to be doing a sewn cover with three interior pages that are held together. And then for the second version, we're going to have a sewn and folded cover with two signatures on the inside that are sewn together through the fold, which allows you to get more pages and have a slightly stiffer cover because of the way that you fold the edges over. And that gives you a great little book if you want to have more pages, but you still don't have to do any type of measuring, you still don't have to do any type of gluing. The third structure is an accordion book, and accordion books are basically just folded pages. And so, once again, no measuring, no cutting, standard paper, and then we're going to create one that has a contrasting front and back cover, and also shows you how to link pages together so that you aren't limited just by the length of paper that you happen to already have. So through these videos, we're going to be making these three different types of booklets. You can use whatever type of paper, you can use whatever tools you happen to have, and I hope you enjoy the movies. The first type of structure that we're going to be making is a simple cut and fold booklet. All it is is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper that's folded several times on one side of the paper only. And then with one cut, it allows you to create an actual book with pages out of this same sheet of paper. It allows you to combine different types of images and different types of artwork without having to do any type of gluing or sewing. All you need are a pair of scissors and a piece of paper. The paper can be any size. So you take your sheet of paper and you fold it in half along the long edge. So you bring the two short edges together and you make a really strong crease. And you want that fold to go both ways. So after you fold it one way, turn the paper over and make the crease go in the other direction as well. Now, take the open short edge and bring it to that center line. Make a nice strong crease and make that fold go both directions as well. So bring that short edge back to the center fold. Now you're going to take this, you're going to flip it over, and the half that you haven't folded yet, now bring the short edge to the center fold, make a nice strong crease, flip it over, and make that fold go in both directions. So now you have three folds that are parallel with the short edge of the paper. Now make one long fold parallel with the long edge of the paper. So really match up those corners and make a nice strong crease along that center. You only need that to go in one direction. Fold the paper now so that it's folded in the center along the short edge. And now you're going to take your scissors and on the fold, you're gonna cut from the middle fold to the outer fold lines, but not going to the outside of the paper, just those center two boxes. And hold the paper from the outside and push the edges together to create a diamond. And then you fold your pages into each other, creating the interior pages of the book and then wrapping the pages around themselves, creating a wrapper out of the folded pages. 
And you might need to play around until you decide which ones are your outside covers and which ones are your inside pages. But once again, you just push them in to create that diamond and then fold the pages around each other and that gives you the book structure.